You'd be forgiven in thinking that getting vaccinated is the best way to stop the spread of COVID. The argument goes, unvaccinated people spread COVID and therefore should be ostracised from society in some way. Personally, I don't mind being ostracised because I think our current society sucks. But that's just my opinion. I'm sure many of you probably wish to continue living in a free, although broken, society. Regarding this argument, or should I say fallacy, it's easy to believe because it's all over the media. The Irish Times, unvaccinated people with COVID-19 pose greatest risk of transmission. SBS News, your unvaccinated friend is roughly 20 times more likely to give you COVID-19. Even the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners are jumping on the bandwagon. COVID-19 vaccination reduces household transmission up to 97 per cent. You can read the article for yourself, but if you do, you'll see that the research is based on the Alpha variant, which pretty much isn't relevant anymore now that Delta has taken over. But nonetheless, the RACGP are feeding this information to our GPs. Perhaps three weeks ago it seemed correct, but not anymore. Here's a peer-reviewed journal article from the Lancet Infectious Disease Medical Journal published only a few days ago on 29th of October 2021, titled Community Transmission and Viral Load Kinetics of the SARS-CoV-2 Delta Variant in Vaccinated and Unvaccinated Individuals in the UK, a Prospective Longitudinal Cohort Study. You can look this up for yourself, but basically it found that vaccinated people who caught Delta were similar similarly likely to transmit to their household members as unvaccinated people, each infected about a quarter of their household. Here's an article from The Guardian that talks about it. Jabs do not reduce risk of passing COVID within household, study suggests. Research reveals fully vaccinated people are just as likely to pass virus onto those they share a home with. There's no doubt that the Royal College of GPs are trying to push a particular narrative by either ignoring research that doesn't fit their agenda, or only promoting research that does. Either way, it's not honest. Tut tut, RACGP. But you don't have to be a medical researcher to see that this is an obvious fallacy. Here's the beautiful city of Waterford in Ireland. Well, I don't know if it's beautiful, but let's assume that it is. And here's the top stories on Google News. Looking at the middle article, 99.7% of Waterford adults fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Wow, what a wonderful achievement. But if you shift your gaze slightly to the left, Waterford City District has state's highest rate of COVID-19 infections. Hmm, it doesn't seem to fit well with the narrative, does it? The Irish media are confused. Waterford has Ireland's second highest COVID-19 incidence rate despite fact 99.7% of residents are fully vaccinated. Even the doctors are confused. No single reason for high number of COVID-19 cases in Waterford, says doctor. Some say it's got to do with primary school children not being vaccinated. Some say that it's because vaccinated people are less cautious. They've let their guard down, so to speak while others are claiming that the current lineup of vaccines simply don't work. But that's just heresy and you shouldn't listen to those people. Either way, we should all see that this claim is a fallacy. The current lineup of vaccines are not stopping the spread. It's unfortunate that people like Premier Daniel Andrews are in positions of power where they can dictate that unvaccinated Victorians will face restrictions for the entirety of next year. In a piece on the conversation by bioethicist David Kirschhofer titled, Some Unvaccinated Australians Won't Be Able to Browse in the Shops Until 2023. That's a worry. He argues that excluding unvaccinated people is simply not morally justified in the current pandemic climate. He states, The point, however, is clear. In a shop where everyone is vaccinated, if one of those vaccinated people has the virus, these two studies, the Lancet study plus another Dutch study, suggest they're just as likely to infect vaccinated people as they are to infect unvaccinated people. Daniel Andrews is hoping that you don't know that, and just willingly go along with his pursuit of megalomania. 
The article also states, It's worth noting though, these studies measured spread of the virus within households, and it's not entirely clear how this would play out in retail spaces. One would expect, however, that because households tend to include longer and closer exposure, the rates of transmission would be lower still in retail spaces. Yes, megalomania is rife in Australia. Megalomaniac, noun, a person who has an obsessive desire for power. Okay, so this is just one fallacy that's being spread around. Yes, it is true that the unvaccinated can spread COVID, obviously, but it's also true that the vaccinated are spreading COVID as well. Just ask Waterford residents in beautiful, vaccinated Ireland. But of course, this is not the only reason people get vaccinated. The next argument that we'll be looking at in another video, unvaccinated people put an untold burden on the healthcare system and therefore should be ostracised from society in some way. Is this a fallacy as well? To me it sounds like a more reasoned argument, but I'll look into it and get back to you. Cheers!